My name is Victor Young, and I'm the CEO of Flinja, where we are revolutionizing the way people connect with and hire local talent across the world. Now, did you guys know that more than 53% of recent college grads here in France are finding themselves under or unemployed? Yet there are millions of jobs left unfilled. You see, students need experience to get these jobs, but they also need a job to get experience. And trust me, I should know. So previously, I found a company called Enet, where I had hired over 500 employees and contractors. And upon reviewing the resumes of thousands of recent college grads, I noticed all of them had one thing in common. They were all inexperienced. You see, they didn't have the experience to fill these jobs. And sure, students could upload their resumes on sites like LinkedIn or other job sites, but without the relevant jobs and work experience, it's pointless. And that is exactly the reason why only 3% of LinkedIn's users are between the ages of 18 to 24. You see, these sites, they just don't get students jobs. But Flinja does. See, currently, Flinja is a platform where students can gain skills and build relevant work experience completing projects. And on the flip side, we allow startups and big companies alike to quickly test out the talent of tomorrow at a fraction of the cost. We transform people into freelance ninjas. Flinjas. Now, since launching, we already have over 100,000 flinjas in our system, many of which are getting hired each and every single day. But we're not going to stop at 100,000 students, you see. In fact, we've only begun. Please allow me to introduce to you Flinja Mobile. Now, anyone can monetize off their expertise. So let me show you how this works. No, I haven't been to Paris in over 20 years. Everything seems a bit foreign to me. Now, I love exploring cities, but I absolutely, absolutely hate trying to figure out which restaurants to go to, which sites to see, just getting around in general. You know, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of my money. So I'd love to hire someone local to help translate, and be my personal guide. See, I need help, and I need it right now. And sure, I could do a search on Google for guides. I could even go on Craigslist here. I could even wait for my hotel concierge to help me. Or I could simply flip out my Flinja app and do a quick search for French English translators here in Paris within a few blocks of me. Now, the search results display a map of available flinges, GPS-located flinges that offer translation as a service. Marie Bernard looks great, so let's go ahead and click on her profile and learn a little, bit, uh, a little more about her. So as you can see, she majors in English. She goes to the University of Paris. She even has a couple reviews, and they look great. But what I love most is that she's marked herself as available to work right now. So before hiring her, we message back and forth, and I even call her to discuss the job details. She agrees to meet me at my hotel. Now before commencing the job, she hits the start job button on her phone. Time is now ticking. Now, after spending hours in Paris showing me around, the job is finally done. So she goes ahead and hits the end job button on her app. This will go ahead and automatically charge my credit card and present to me a final receipt screen where I can rate and review Marie. This is simplicity at its best. Now, in case you might be wondering, well, how do you guys make money? Well, it's quite simple. See, we charge a 15% transaction fee, but it's already baked in the price at hiring. So if you're a Flinja and let's say you charge 20 an hour, we'll go ahead and showcase this for 23. And here's a team executing on this. 
It's a veteran team with years of experience working at such companies as Google, eBay, Cisco, PayPal, and with degrees from such places as Stanford, University of Waterloo, Caltech, and Warren at UPenn. We're currently raising one half million dollars to grow our team and scale our operations, of which we already have over 900,000 committed, and includes investors such as Howard Marks, co-founder of Activision, Fred Smith, chairman, CEO, and founder of FedEx, and Kaplan Ventures. We're also accepting pre-registrations right now for the Flindro mobile product. So for everyone in the audience today, and also live streaming online, I'd like to invite you to register right now as a Flinja or as a customer. And before I leave the stage today, I'd like all of you to remember three last things. Number one, we're a veteran team that knows how to scale. You see, we've done this before. Second, employers are already hiring our Flinjas daily. See, we make money. And last but not least, 11 million French citizens need our product. Once again, my name is Victor Young, and I'm the CEO of Flinja, and I would like to invite all of you to join us in our mission to revolutionize the way people hire local talent across the world. Thank you very much. Great. All right, Victor, stay here with us. We've got our judges in there, I'm sure, full of questions for you. Is there someone who wants to jump in? Philippe. What is the, uh, use, the primary use case? I mean, to, to start a, an application like this, you need to have three or four things that are very, uh, I would say, fairly well productized, so you can have you know, a, a reasonable pricing for it, which you can expect. Um, so what are the three or four things? Because in the application, you had a list of 15 things that were very varied. Uh, so how are you going to market this to the people using the app? You know, what are the three or four things people will look for? Right, so, so the, the question, if I'm understanding, is what are the verticals that we may start out with at first? Is that correct? Well, you, can call, call, you can call it vertical. I, I would say just the use case. You know, right, like, use you know, case. Is it translation? Is it right. primarily what you, we, we want right. to be known for? So the flinges that we, um, so it's a, very, it's a highly vetted process. Um, we are aligned with uh, the career aspirations uh, of people. So the difference, for example, if you're thinking, let's say, TaskRabbit, it's more mundane, blue-collar type of task, where we are uh, more skilled labor, white-collar. If I am, uh, in the example that uh, I'd shown, Marie Bernard uh, goes to the University of Paris, majors in English. Uh, she, therefore, on our app, is a French-English translator. So translation is, an, uh, is a, is a uh, vertical that would make the most sense. Another one, perhaps, uh, could be sport therapy. Uh, another one could be computing, so anything in technology, so uh, fixing computers. Uh, again, you're not going to find housekeepers or maids or anything like that on our app. Uh, it is a very highly vetted process. We are going to be collecting a lot of data points uh, from you know, our initial launch here. Um, but it, you know, we, we are well aware that, that there are going to be certain verticals that are probably a little bit more, uh, that have more traction um, than, than others. But that, that's why we're, we're kind of setting foot now to start that process. So we collect the data and then uh, expand beyond that. Cool. Let's go with Evan and then Chris. Evan. Can you hear me, guys? Yep. OK, great. Um, so you're launching the, the app shortly, but you've already been launched on the web? Correct, or? yeah. So our so legacy how, product so is So how many web. users month over month? Right. And for this to succeed, most likely you're going to need exponential growth of users. Right. Um, and how are you going to get them? So we, we look at it a little bit differently. It's not really the growth. I mean, we have over 140,000 students in the system, uh, students and alumni now. Um, it's really the transaction. Uh, we, we look at how can we convert? How can we uh, match make better? So everything that we do isn't about, OK, we need a million students or we need a million employers, but really, how can we convert and uh, make sure that we are attracting the best, right, the best employers, the best students? Right, so I, I agree with that. So. I'll reiterate in a better way, you're okay. right. So you need a lot of people in it first, and then you need them to transact as often as possible. Right. Right? So for me, I, if I'm, you're only going to be in Paris once in a while for that use case. Right. So how do you get people to transact every day for different needs? Right. Um, but first, I'm, I'm, how do we, everybody here before you're on stage, know that you guys exist? Right. That's my main question. Right. Uh, how, do you, how do they know they should go to you to solve their problem? 
Right, so um, in the United States, we, we've been focused on students, uh, undergrads. We work with the universities. One of our uh, investors is also Kaplan. Uh, it's, you know, it's a big education company. Probably everyone has taken their test prep materials. Um, so we ride off their coattails as well into universities. The universities have already a set of employers. They already have a subset of students. Um, in a sense, we, we have a white label product that we offer to universities that essentially is an alternative to their career portals. Uh, the advantage for us, um, or compared to the other so solutions out there, is that we have the back-end web analytics as well for them. So for example, uh, UCLA could go to you, uh, or, or could tell, into, um, uh, UCLA could, would know exactly that 50% of students from Econ 101, the class of 2014, uh, are being hired by Disney nearby in Los Angeles, right? So we do uh, have a, a lot of, we, we do receive a lot of assistance from the universities. Uh, in addition, you know, we, we do have a, a pretty cool uh, viral marketing plan as well, it's a 5% mar uh, marketing plan where um, individuals can go ahead and refer their, uh, their peers or refer employers, they get 5% of the first 12 months um, of, of activity that's transacted, either as a customer or as someone working the, the job? I'm not sure if I uh, answered your question. As... You're, you're bringing more clarity, thank you. Okay, Chris. So my question was that it's always tricky to have a two-sided marketplace right. where you have to balance supply and demand. Right. I think one of the reasons why Zarly in the early days and TaskRabbit now goes for the easier to do jobs because there's more supply and more demand and you right. never want to be in a situation where a customer looks for somebody to do a job for them and there's no availability or vice versa that nobody gets a job. Right. So seeing how you're going for the more white collar kind of work, right. how do you think you can balance those? Um, you just roll up your sleeves, right? You just roll up your sleeves. Uh, and, and what you do is you, you know on the supply end, it's always probably going to be a little bit easier. Uh, the demand end, of course, um, you know, are people like you and me and everyone else out there who would need someone. So for example, you know, if we're talking on stage, we're in a boardroom right now, uh, we need someone to, to maybe help model some financial projections for us. In the future, what we see, and you know, I know the theme here at the web now uh, is about the next 10 years, we, we believe actually Instead of going through the various channels, the solutions that you have out there right now, I, I mentioned Craigslist, Google, career centers, to get this type of talent, you'll be able to flip out your phone, uh, GPS locate these flinges, white collar uh, skill jobs, though, so the, these flinges that are providing a service in, you know, that are um, they're, uh, more or less, not, not as mundane, right? Uh, and they'll be able to come to you right then and there and provide that service. Um, Again, that, that's what we, and, and again, it, you know, just to, to help answer your question, how do, you, how do you make sure to do that matchmaking you know, well? You have to really, really uh, build critical mass on both sides. Uh, first, you start with you know, supply. Once you get that down, you, do, you know, get a lot of demand. You make sure you matchmake correct, uh, as much as possible, and then you expand beyond that. Right? So right. you, you want to target certain verticals, obviously, in our case. Well, Victor, we are out of time. I, I wanted to, to, I'm going to take a prerogative, but I'm going to ask you a really quick answer. It's a yes or no question, or an either or question. Sure. At the beginning, you said people, young people can't get jobs because they don't have experience and it's hard to hire them. Is Flinja a substitute for, or is it a sort of a new job market, or is it a way of, uh, so it, it's, I, don't, I can't get a job, so I'm going to go become a Flinja and get work, or I'm going to go to Flinja to get experience? Um. So, okay, so if I'm understanding your question, so uh, you're asking, are we another market? Or? Well, you set up a, d a dynam dynamic that said, we can't hire because they don't have experience. Right. Is this a, a way for those unemployed to get new jobs and become, create a freelance economy, or is it a way for them to gather experience to become more hireable and permanent jobs? Um, a little bit of both, honestly. Okay. Uh, for students, you know, it's, they're going to, and I know you're looking for a yes and no, but, uh, <laughs> Really, okay. a, a little both bit of both. Both wasn't an answer, but right. <laughs> all right. We are out of time, but uh, um, I'm going to come talk to you more about that later on. Thank you Great. very much, Thank and you. thanks for your presentation. Thanks. Thank Flinja. you.